Hey what's going on people, Bearfox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In this video today, I'm going to be showing you guys best settings for GTA 5. So make sure you guys watch this video till the end. Also, this video will work out for both GTA 5 and GTA 5 Online and all of these things are completely safe. So make sure you guys don't skip any step for better results. Also, 96% of you guys haven't yet subscribed to the channel so please do me a favor, consider hitting that red subscribe button, it helps me out a lot. And with all that said, let's get started with the video. Alright, step number one is changing the properties of GTA 5 files. For that, open up the installer, for me it's Steam, for you it can be Epic Games or Steam. But the way is very really similar, just find GTA 5 in your library, right click on that and go to properties. Then go to local files and then hit browse over here. As you guys can see, GTA 5 files are right in front of me. The first thing you have to do is find GTA5.exe, right click on that and go to properties. Over here. Go to compatibility and then change high dpi settings. Click over here and then hit ok. Then hit apply. Also do the same for play gta5.exe. Now once done with that, the second thing that you have to do is find a file called commandline.txt. If you don't have this by default, you can always right click, hit new and then create this exact same file with the name. Double click this file and the first thing you'll see is this thing. Now just leave it as it is. These are the four things you have to type in. I'll be leaving a link to all of this in the description below. Once done with that, hit Ctrl S and then close this file. Step number 3 is turning on game mode. For that press your windows key and then type in game mode. Now I'll be coming to a screen like this. Over here make sure that you have the game mode on. Then go to graphic settings and over here make sure that you have this turned on. Then go to browse. Now go to the install location for your GTA 5. For me it's gonna be in here. And then hit select gta5.exe. Hit add. Now once you've added GTA 5 over here, hit options and then click high performance and then save it. Our step number 4 is playing with Nvidia control panel settings. It's really simple and you don't have to do much with it. Right click at any empty space at your desktop and then hit Nvidia control panel. Now once you are here, go to adjust image settings with preview and then click on the third option which says use my preference emphasizing. Now, scroll this quality all the way down to performance and then hit apply. Once done with all of the 4 steps above, download the FPS pack, I'll be leaving a link to this in the description below. You have to download this file. Here is the download tutorial of the file. You'll be coming to a screen like this when you click the link in the description below. Just scroll the page all the way down until you find this pink download button. Click on this and you'll be redirecting to the download page right away. Alright, once you've downloaded this RAR file, extract it and you'll find a folder like this. The first one says the GTA 5 tweak. You'll find a settings.xml file over here. But don't hurry it out. Press Windows key and then type in device manager. Over here you'll find the fourth or the fifth option which says the display drivers. For me, it's Nvidia GeForce RTX 2070 Super. Just click on the properties and then make sure that you copy this exact same name in this settings.xml file. Right click and hit edit. Scroll all the way down until you find this video card description and you'll find two of these things over here. Just make sure to backspace them out and then once you've named it the way it is, hit Ctrl and S together and then close this file. Also close this pop-up. Now once you've saved the file, just copy the file and then go to your documents Find Rockstar Games over here, then find GTA 5 over here, and you'll find the settings.xml file right away. I highly recommend you guys to take this out to your desktop and then paste the new one over here. This one will be the backup file for your settings.xml. Once done with that, go back to the folder and then open up the RAM optimization. Now, over here, find whatever RAM you are using. For that, press the Windows key and then type in System Information. You'll find your total installed physical memory over here. For me, it's going to be 16 GB. So I have to run the 16 GB file. Right click on that and simply hit merge. If anything goes bad, you can always restore it to default values. And once done with the second folder, 
you have to run the memreduct file. This is the setup version. Once you open memreduct, it looks like this. Here is a simple demonstration of how memreduct works. As you guys can see, I'm having a 42% memory usage right away. Once I hit clean memory and I hit yes, the memory usage drops down instantly. This benefits a lot while you play GTA 5. I highly recommend you guys run memreduct every time you run GTA 5. And for the last thing is the ultimate power plan. Just open up this file and you'll find this command line over here. Hit Ctrl C and then search for CMD and then run it as administrator. Now once the command prompt opens up in front of you, just paste this thing over here and hit enter. Now close this thing. Then go to your control panel and over here search for power. Go to power options and then make sure that you're using ultimate performance while playing GTA 5. Once you're done applying all of those settings, open up GTA 5 and hit escape. Then go to the settings section over here and then locate graphics. Once you are here, I highly recommend you guys using the DX10.1 or DX11. If you have a low end graphics card, always go for DX10.1. If you have a higher end graphics card, I highly recommend you guys to go for DirectX 11. Always use the screen type to full screen and the resolution to the native resolution of your monitor. Also, I highly recommend you guys running this game on 60 frames per second if you don't have a very good graphics card. Now scroll all the way down and turn off FXAA as well as MSAA as well as VSync. Then you'll find three options like this. Now I highly recommend you guys to scale it all the way down and then as you guys can see scaling all of these options down reduces the video memory. Now over here texture quality I highly recommend you guys to keep it on normal, everything on normal. Water quality, you guys can keep it on high. And the particle quality, normal, normal. Also for the post FX, go to normal. The anisotropic filtering, just turn it off. And the ambient allocation, put it on normal. Also the tessellation, go for normal. Once you've done applied all of those settings, go to advanced settings. And over here make sure that everything is off. Now, once done with that, you guys can enjoy playing GTA 5. So guys, that packs up for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to do leave a like and consider hitting the subscribe button. I highly recommend you guys subscribing to the channel. It helps me out a lot and you guys won't miss any helpful videos like this. We'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.